Squirt, squirt, up on that scene. Hop out, engine looking clean. All right, what's up guys, Poison here, and I've got a quick little topic to talk about. I have two things I'm talking about. So the first topic is gonna be about the channel. The second video is gonna be about something great happening, and I don't wanna put it in like, uh, I mean, I could easily put this in um, tomorrow's Let's Play because I haven't recorded for Metro at all tomorrow, but I'd honestly rather have this be um, like a vlog type video, something a little bit more special because something great happened. Um, I mean, something bad happened, it's about the accident, but I'm gonna leave a little thing right here, like a little just, I'm just going to add some captions to the video talking about what parts to skip to if you don't care about this first part. This first discussion is about the horror series Let's Play. Now, um, today a video came out for Frambo. I have two more videos planned. I have Friday's video and Monday's video, and then we're done with Frambo. Not because I hit the game or anything, just because we're already done with Frambo. Um, next Wednesday is the last video, or no, next Monday is the last video for Frambo. I've taken a week break off. I'm going to return Wednesday with um, more horror games. So I have three games I'm... I want to play now i have multitude of horror games i want to play but there are three games i specifically want to play right now got it so cool sorry there's like a little bit of lint just flying around um yeah after frambo i was expecting a real horror game and frambo was more psychological horror than actual like horror um not to say it was a terrible game frambo was honestly a great game fun game to play through it would have been a lot longer had i not looked up walkthroughs but i didn't want to push the series on too long with me being stuck for like an episode so um the three games I want to play is they're going to be Dead Space, which I'm going to say I really want to play Dead Space, but these other two games are also games I really want to play. But Dead Space just seems like the top of the list for me personally. Once again, I do this, I do these videos for me just to have fun, but I am also do them for you guys to watch because if you guys don't watch these videos, there's no point in me making them, you know? At that point, I might as well just make videos and put them all private. So I'm saying Dead Space is a game I really want to play, but I feel um, others are going to want a different game. The second game is Resident Evil 2, the remake, not the original one, because even though I could mod my uh, PlayStation Classic and put the original Resident Evil 2 on it, I want to play the remake. So that is, once again, a brand new game that came out, what, earlier this month, end of last month? It's a brand new game either way, and I know there was one person who wanted to see me um, live stream it, and I'm like, oh, I don't think I want to live stream it, honestly. Like, there's not, there wouldn't be a problem with me live streaming it. I would honestly rather just do a Let's Play like I've been doing now. And then the last game is Resident Evil 7. So I'm pretty sure Resident Evil 7 is the scariest of the of all the games. Um, I played the demo for it and I got terrified. And I played the demo at like 2 in the afternoon when there was sun out and there were people at home. And I still got fucking scared of it. So that's just the demo too. I didn't even play the full game yet. And yeah, Resident Evil 7. I know when I was doing a live stream for Battlefield 1, um, Matt was like, oh, do Resident Evil 7. I'm like, you're that, like, no, nothing against Matt. I'm like, you're that asshole who wants to see me get fucking scared, aren't you? And he's like, yeah. Um, the thing about Resident Evil 7 is if I play Resident Evil 7, I'm going to end up also playing the demo. And I feel so weird that this is, like, so upwards. I don't know. Let's just put it, like, right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is, like, that's just been irking me the whole time that my, uh, my screen was just so up. I should be in the center of it, not, like, down here. All right, so, um, yeah, if I play Resident Evil 7 for the channel for horror games, I'm going to play the demo for it. Because um, in the demo, if you get the best ending you can, which there's walkthroughs on, if you get the best ending in the demo, you end up getting a dirty old coin. And if you guys don't know, in Resident Evil 7, you find dirty old coins lying around the house. And when you get to the trailer part of the game, like what? in the beginning of the game or towards the middle i don't know i don't know the timeline of the game but once you finally get to the trailer you could use the dirty old coins for um to purchase stuff so you could purchase like um you can purchase the 44 magnum but it's not really the magnum it's the semi-auto uh 44 version i'm paying attention to my dogs over here because i just saw well patches went to karina's room other ones right here you're gonna see her probably pop up in the mirror right there yep um you can purchase all types of things i think you could purchase infinite ammo i'm not sure i'm not sure what you could buy but i know you could buy parts or you could buy yeah you could buy parts for um guns so if you have a broken gun you could buy parts and fix it so once again i want to get those extra coins just to have everything so yeah those are the three games would you guys rather see me play through dead space resident evil 2 remake or resident evil 7 with the demo and honestly i'm saying the demo would probably be the longest video because in that video i would sit down and I will just record, and I will just, you know, get the best ending, um, it's pretty easy to avoid everything, I'm saying, there are plenty of good walkthroughs to show you how to get the best ending, so you can get that coin, um, but yeah, 
that's pretty much it with that topic. Please let me know down below, comment what you want to see, and then I have about a week to record a video. I will record next Wednesday's horror video on Tuesday. So yeah, please, you know, vote down below what do you think would be the best game of those three. Um, if you have other games you you could suggest, let me know, and I'll put those into future consideration. But as of right now, I'm only going to choose those three. So please choose those three. Don't choose like Cola or something. All right. Moving on to the best news possible, even though it's coming out of a shitty situation. If you guys do not remember, back in December 12th, sorry, I hear the dogs coming into my room, and that's why I'm like, I'm looking down. If you guys remember, December 12th, I got in an accident. I've talked about it quite a bit, and realistically, it was not my fault as to how the accident happened. I was honestly hit. I was perfectly in the third lane, driving, and then the person switched from the first over the second into the third lane, hitting me. So realistically, no, I'm not at fault. I'm not even saying that's to cover my ass, but... Yesterday, I went and talked to someone about my um, accident, and they're like, oh, have you uh, been compensated at all for your car? I'm like, no, they haven't done anything. I've called them. I've, I haven't have emailed them because they haven't given me an email. I'm like, I've called them multiple times. They never answer. So my he's a family friend. His name is Paul. He got fucking tired of it. He's like, you know what? Come to my house. Um, this was on Friday. Friday, I talked to him. He's like, yeah, come over tomorrow because he lives with my brother. Um and then Saturday, I wake up to a phone call. Don't come today. Your brother's in a bad mood. Just don't even come. I'm like, all right. And I'm like, but I need to come talk to you like really bad about this accident. He's like, all right, come Tuesday. I'm like, okay, perfect. Fine. Tuesday, I wake up. I'll leave. I'll go talk to you. So as I'm leaving Tuesday, I, I call him. I'm like, should I go pick up the police report? He's like, where's the uh, police station? I'm like, it's right next to where I live. I told him where it's at. He's like, yeah, stop by. It probably won't hurt. They probably won't give it to you, but just stop by and try to see. I'm like, dude. They told me after the accident that the report would be 10 days later. 10 days later, I call them. They said they needed to fix one mistake. So they do that. And two months have gone by. I haven't gone for it. And then yesterday, I just get it. They charged me like $10 to get the full report. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Take the money. I don't care. And unfortunately, my bank won't let me pull out $10. and only pull out like in $20 increments. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Had they told me, oh, we don't have change. I would have been like, you know what? Keep the fucking money. I don't care. Let me just get this report. That's how important it was. So I get the report, instantly hop in my car, and I drive down to his house. It's like 30 minutes away. I get to his house. He runs up. He's part of a company. I don't know what company. I don't know what business. But he's on the phone with someone. So as he's on the phone, I'm like reading through the report. I get to the final two pages, and I wish he would have sent me a picture. I asked for them yesterday, and I don't have the report on me because I just left it with him. But pretty much it said the cause of the accident was the person who hit me. So I'm like, once again, obviously I wasn't responsible for the accident. But you do not know how people could lie, especially because the person who hit me is an older woman. I don't know how old, but she's older than me. I was the youngest of everyone. So you could see how how like cops would see the prejudice and go for the older person first and be like, oh, we're going to believe her story. But no, it was the person who hit me who was P slash V1 for person one, vehicle one. I'm person two, vehicle two. And then there was a third person involved, person P3, V3. So person three, vehicle three. Um... It even says, because I've never seen a police report till now, in the final page, it has cause. And then it says how P1 pretty much failed to drive how you're supposed to. How she um, how she failed to lane change safely because she couldn't see anything happening. So it was person one, vehicles one, who ended up causing the accident. And then it even says Ford, because she was driving a Ford. It's like P1, V1, and then like parentheses, Ford. Then, like, V2, me, it says Volvo, and it's, like, Ford ended up crashing into Volvo, causing the Volvo to spin out, and then the third vehicle got into collision somehow. I don't even know how the third person was involved, but either way, I was reading through it, and it even says, you go more and more, and it says, witness, or witness statement. They saw the Ford go from the first lane over the second into the third, and there was no brake. She literally, like, er, 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 like, shroom. she didn't churn. No, she just straight went over. And I'm just super happy. Like, I'm so mad because her insurance is fucking shit, honestly. Cost you less, worst fucking insurance ever. You are fucking pissing me off. I don't care how bad that sounds. You guys have been giving me headaches for the past two months. Literally, I have not been... Mentally, I'm so fucking unfit right now. But, like, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to hurt anyone. But I'm just, like, so mad that her insurance is playing stupid. But... You know, I'm just so happy to have it written down in proof by the fucking CHP that I'm not at fault. And like I've been saying, I'm not at fault, honestly. 
but I have seen how fucking cops will usually go for the older person. Like how in my first accident back in 2017, the cop heard my statement, didn't fucking care. He went to her more. So I'm all like, dude, like I got to figure out that case too, because I have proof that my, I wasn't even in the lane of travel. So I'm, I've just seen it before how cops will usually believe the older person before the younger person, especially with me being 22, you know, dressed in all black, you know, the way I dress. And then also with my car with all the stickers and everything. So I just see how like cops will like judge and be like, fuck that kid. We're going to go with her. So having it in the CHP statement that, hey, I'm not responsible. Best fucking news ever. And then when I finally take her to court, I could prove that, hey, look, I'm not a fucking fault. You need to fucking compensate me because you fucked up my body and my car. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm so happy that I'm not at fault. Fucking it feels so great, dude. Honestly, that's a huge fucking weight off my shoulders. That just makes... That's been putting a smile on my face since yesterday. And yesterday, there was a lot of shit at home, too. But still, just knowing that, like, hey, I'm not at fault. It just made me feel way happier. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned. I will upload this video as soon as possible. And then we will be back later today with another episode of Stretch Panic. So, until then, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Or, we're not sure. No, no, no. It's not going to be Stretch Panic. We don't know what we're playing yet. We might play Mega Man Powered Up. We're not sure what we're going to play. But we'll be back. Have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.